Excuse me, excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Do you know why? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed to the channel. So we either fix that right now, or we're gonna have to take you in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the First Click Show. Yeah, on the First Clicks. You are tuned in to the only Apple News show on YouTube with Dark Mode. Let's get it. We are finally back. Obviously, we have missed a lot of news. We have missed a lot of stories, and I'm here to explain why. Uh, it was my birthday. Went for a little birthday holiday, just relax, just chill, and now we're back with some awesome news. I mean, Dylan Dikite has been leaking some stuff. Uh, we got something about an external display from Apple, finally, but with a chip inside it, I can't wait to tell you all about it. So for now, let's just click straight into the news. And uh, let's get this party started, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the first story is actually coming in from Dylan Dikite directly. Uh, right before we hit recording, he posted a few tweets about the Apple Silicon or high-end Apple Silicon iMac. Uh, he suspects that that is going to come out somewhere in 2022, uh, according to his sources, obviously. Now, it is an interesting thing that the M1X, or well, at least rumored to be the M1X iMac, uh, it's coming out somewhere in 2022. Uh, we see a couple of other tweets from him saying uh, that yeah, he doesn't really know for sure when it's going to come. Luke Miani, who also replied under the tweet, is saying that it could well be uh, October 2022. I mean, then an M1X iMac is going to be unlikely. Obviously, the option to buy the iMac with an M1X is something that could be possible. Uh, but I would say it would launch with an M2X and then you have cheaper options with an M1X. Because October 2022, especially after the MacBook Air already came out with, well, potentially the M2, right? That is what the rumor is saying. That is what John Prosser said nearly a year ago. Is it a year ago? No, it is not. A long time ago. <laughs> now, all this isn't going according to Apple's plan, and I can feel that since, well, all this confusion is going on, right? Uh, Dylan is actually saying that because of all the delays, Apple doesn't want uh, all these products to compete with each other. So that is why the iMac isn't coming out this year uh, alongside the MacBook Pros. Uh, I don't know because there are already rumors that the MacBook Pro, the M1X MacBook Pro is going to come out alongside the iPhone 13 or 12S, whatever you want to call it. So like, isn't that going to compete with each other anyway? Like so many questions, not enough time to answer them. For now, let's just click into the next story, okay? And then our second story of today is coming in from 9to5Mac. They have an exclusive and it is a weird one and an exciting one at the same time. I am not completely sure what to think about this, but it sounds exciting. Um, I'm just gonna spit it out. An external display with an A13 chip in it. Bear with me. Apple is testing a new external display with a dedicated A13 chip and neural engine. Okay, so Philippe from 9to5Mac has the honor of actually writing this article. And I'm just saying, at first I was like, what? And then at the second point I was like, typical Apple. And then the third time I was just thinking like, what? And then I read the article. So. I'm going to spare you all of those emotions and just get right into the article. The new display is being developed under the codename J327. But at this point, details about the technical specifications are unclear. According to sources, the display will have an Apple-made SoC, which right now is the A13 Bionic chip, the same one that's used in the iPhone 11 lineup. Along with the A13 chip, the external display features a neural engine which accelerates machine learning tasks. Although rumors suggest that Apple has been working on a less expensive display for regular users, the new external display with dedicated SoC will likely be a new model to replace the current Pro XDR display. Today's report from 9to5Mac sources suggest that Apple has not given up on plans to launch an external display with some sort of SOC, at least internally. Having a CPU slash GPU built into the external display could help Macs deliver high resolution graphics without using all the resources of the computer's internal chip. 
Apple could also combine the power of the Display SoC with the Mac SoC to provide even more performance for running intensive graphic tasks. Another possibility is to use the SoC to add some smart features to the Pro XDR display, such as AirPlay. Okay, so let me explain what all this could mean, right? Because obviously it is English, but uh, it might be confusing. So there are three different scenarios that 9to5Mac is sketching here right now. Sketching, drawing, naming, labeling, noting. Three different scenarios, okay? And the first scenario is that it is just an external display with an eGPU in it. And an eGPU obviously is an external graphics card that just amplifies the graphical performance of the chip that is already inside your Mac. Um, that is just going to be a different chip, obviously, than the A13, especially if it's going to replace um, the Pro XDR display. No one is going to buy a new display uh, for five and a half thousand dollars or euros uh, just because there's an A13 chip in it, right? So this is just for internal testing. If it is going to be released, I suspect it to be a chip that is way more powerful than an A13. Anyways, that is just one option, right? That you can just like attach whatever computer to it and that chip is just going to run the entire display and whatever you drag and drop on the display is just going to be completely functional from the chip that is inside the display. It's basically an iMac but not an iMac. I don't know, that is option one. Option two is that it is going to bring extra functionality to the display like AirPlay and it will function more like a T2 chip, a chip that is just adding functionality to the display like AirPlay, like whatever, right? And I'm just going to say that option three seems more realistic and that is just a combination of both, right? It is going to be a chip that's going to amplify performance and it is also going to bring new functionality to the display. But I'm just confused about what is the point? Just like put an SSD next, right next to it and some RAM and you have an iMac, right? Like at least right now, like the A13 is a full chip. So I'm just, I, I like, maybe I'm just confused here, but what is the point? Probably Apple will have a better explanation as to why you would want this. And I'm definitely waiting for that explanation. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited to see like what they're thinking because it sounds really great, but why? <laughs> right? The why is a little bit unclear for now, uh, but we're going to see that like one way or another, like especially on this channel, we are going to keep you posted on any updates. But um, yeah, like I said, I am confused and excited at the same time. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments down below. Definitely, if you want to check any of these stories out in full context at your own pace, definitely go to the description down below. There will be some other links waiting for you there as well. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like. And for now, click on.